Uh, the only thing which has happened in this country, as, as, as far as comedy is concerned, is the Churchill Show. The only serious thing. Churchill Show, I will call it an experience, an event. More of an event, because it's a collection of uh, what we call short uh, performances on stage, a lineup of around 20 comedians, kuna kuanga na interviews whereby Churchill hosts uh, public figures on stage, bado kuna musicians wanakuja kuperform. So Churchill show is not, it's not just a comedy show. That's why anaisemanga more than just comedy. But now, akuna mtu mwenye amefanya stand-up comedy, peke yake exclusively, where people come and enjoy and have the vibe of stand-up comedy, peke yake. Tuna check up for, for three, four hours, mfululizo, bila mbwembwe zingine za hapa kando. And uh, I think that is the reason as to why audience yetu kidogo ina kwanga confused because ina expect to keep a comedy show, bado to kwena musician up. Melewa. So what I'm trying to do is that I want to create the first stand-up comedy special in this country, hapa Nairobi, not to anze create your culture. Why the culture is important is because ina saidia ku build individual brands. For example, it's MCA Tricky. You, we want to start that culture of MCA Tricky. Can uh, anaeza invite audience. Ikuje, iketi chini for two hours. Ni wachekeshe na to bond na ni kama MCA Tricky. Mimi independently as one brand. Note that when you hear of a comedy show, lazima upate, upate line up ya wasani 20. Ndiyo watu wakuje. And that is the difference between us, Kenyans. Or else the Kenyan fraternity, in, uh, the Kenyan community, na outside Kenya. If you look at the other countries, that's how they, they start. People like uh, Basket Mouth, people like Akina Daliso, that's how they start. Wakianza wanaanza kama msia na jiguro yeye mwenyewe kama brand. And that's why unapatanga Basket akisema tupatana ya rinaflani, watu wanakuja, because they are already used. Hapa Kenya ni ngumu. They want to see a list for them to believe that it's, it's, it's really happening. So your culture, it's a new venture that I want to do, that we will be doing comedy specials in this country. Mm -hmm. So yes. what should uh, maybe people, rather your fans or your audience expect? Why should? Oh my goodness, my fans and audience should expect a different taste of uh, comedy from what they are used uh, to. If you look at Tricky Comedy Circuit, ni may invite, sijataka sana kuwak na comedians wahapa, because uh, I didn't want to replicate Churchill Show. Sikuwa nataka ni ite line up to ile ya Churchill, ni walete hapa. Ni Churchill Show yo. So I wanted them to have a taste of what is happening outside. That's why I have in, uh, invited comedians from, uh, a comedian from Nigeria. Nikona representative from Sudan, South Sudan. Nikona wa Uganda, nikona wa Tanzania. Because I want them to come and sit down and feel where comedy is from outside this country. Mm -hmm. Wach, waone, waone mali comedy imefiki hapo. So they will have a different taste, mm -hmm. or else we will serve them a different taste from what they have been used to around. Mm -hmm. yeah. And of course, that forms my next question, because uh, wakati ulieka ili alaina ipali voko nye mitenda, wazwaku watu alikuwa anasema kumba, because you have always seen Eric Omondi fighting for Kenya, Kenyans first, mm -hmm. na pia watu anasema kumba you are not supporting mm -hmm. our very own. Mm -hmm. Maybe, sujika mumena, his complaints, watu anasema you should have had more of ah, Kenyans. Thank mission. you so much. I think, uh, what is happening now, uh, sasa Eric had to achieve stand-up comedy. He is doing so well in this activism. Uh, in it, uh, Activism, activism. <laughs> He's doing so well. Hey, a very good job. Na mpigi ya makofi sana. Sasa ju, ni kama amefika mali ya kaona, ah, amefanya hii comedy for long, anafaa hende ya saidi ya uko kando, which is very good. Sasa ni wakati wetu, kila mtu wa concentrate na strength yake. Let Eric handle the activism. Wacha hende atete watu unga ishuke chini. Hapa kando, unga ikienilea kushuka, wacha MC ya tiki ya kuja sasa wachekeshi. Don't you think you could buy sana kuweka shows na ukose kuweka even one of the comedians from Kenya? Like seriously, no, I've considered all that. When I was coming up with the lineup, I didn't want really to have a Kenyan comedian. Why? Because muna pata nanga na sisi pale chachili show kama Kenyan comedian. Why should I again repeat the same lineup? What to see what I say ma si chungoje ba si chachili show. But just to have that, of course, lazima ninge kuwa na a brand. Na mwenye nimeweka pale kwa poster ni Mitch. Na ye Mitch ni kwa sababu I am the one who, are, who have seen Mitch from scratch. Na nimegrow na ye. So nataka kumpea hii platform. Ndiyo, 
at least pia ye, I feel home. So Mitch will be represented in Kenya. Then pia nika check hivi nika angalia in my line up lazima pia ni kuwe na demu. Mm -hmm. Siezi kuwa na wanaume tu peke yake kwa line up zima. Nika angalia hivi, I have settled for Nasra. Mm -hmm. For a reason that I won't tell you. Uh -uh. Yeah. But let me, yeah. uh, let me ask you this question. <laughs> yes. I saw people uh, walikuwa na uliza mbona hau kueka demo wa Facebook. We have this lady, demo. anaitua demo wa Facebook. She, she has a good talent, anafanya kazi poa. And people are requesting if you can consider, mm. at least umweke kwa list. Ata kama watafika basi mademo wa wili. I don't know if you'll consider that. Thank you so much. So, tulipo kwa tunanza hii press mwili niuliza swali. Yes. What, what do I want to give people? Yes. Isi show niliamuka tu ni kaamua wacha nifanya tu show. Mm -hmm. There is some specific objective that I want to achieve. Na hiyo specific objectives iko na specifications zake. Okay. And some of the specifications ni decisions kama za nani anafaa perform na nani anafaa ku perform. Mm -hmm. So at that point tuta agree tutafanya na wale wenye nimeweka for a reason. Mm -hmm. Yes. Na 